But first, the headlines of the evening are still the raging fires. We have just lived through a week, visually at least on the West Coast, of looking outside and thinking we are on Mars. And that has reflected the air quality level. And it is absolutely amazing that we look outside every day and see joggers and bikers and hikers. It is very important to install one of those apps, whether you like a weather bug or whether you have the iPhone, which actually tells you the air quality, whatever city you're in or whatever city you would like to go for a hike. And it gives you what to look at in order to determine whether or not that's the best idea. Now, I know what you're thinking. First, they tell us we can't be inside. We have to be outside because of COVID concerns. Now they tell us we have to be inside, not outside because of the air quality. First, we have rolling blackouts and we have to open our windows because our air conditioning is off. Now they're telling us we have to keep our, basically our windows shut because the air quality is so bad. Well, thank God we didn't at least suffer rolling blackouts and low air quality at the same time. So I suppose that is the silver lining because we're all about the silver lining here at Live on Dr. Wendy. One of the things that we wanna make sure that is on our punch list for next year is a battery operated indoor fan. Now, what is the beauty of having a battery operated indoor fan? Well, if you have rolling blackouts due to the heat, that thing will still run. And if at the same time as we did last week, you also have raging wildfires that make your sky look like something from an end of the world disaster film and you can't open the windows because of the low air quality, you can still enjoy that battery operated fan. So I hate to almost say that because they're probably gonna fly off the shelves, but probably something everybody thought about to begin with anyway. 